Julie, Rob, the last time Wesley Correa Carminati was in a Pottawatomie County courtroom, he had his jail escape planned out, hiding the handcuff key and homemade toothbrush shank in his dreadlocks. Well, today he pleaded guilty to 12 charges, admitted to killing Deputy Mark Burbridge and apologized to Burbridge's children, calling it an accident. The dreadlocks he used to hide his escape tools, gone. But the heartache Wesley Correa Carminati caused, still evident in the courtroom. There are some cases which deserve more than life in prison, and this is such a case. Pottawatomie County Attorney Matt Wilbur lays out the deadly details of the May 1st escape. Deputy Pat Morgan reliving the day he struggled with Carminati, ultimately getting wounded and seeing his colleague die in front of him. Mark Burbridge's three children faced their father's killer for the first time and let Carminati know the pain he's caused. You've taken two lives injured two others physically and broken too many hearts to count. You don't deserve mercy or even to live. <laughs> to me, he's a monster, a sociopath with no emotion. I'd go as far to even say he's the devil. Through an interpreter, Carminati tells the children he liked their father because Burbridge asked about his case. Perhaps you think that I am a monster. No lo soy. I am not. Y siento mucho su pérdida. And I really feel your loss. Carminati says the deputy's death was not intentional, and he apologized. And when you say that you feel bad about the loss of that man, Yo me siento mal de haberlo matado. I feel very bad about having killed him. My dad was the best man on this earth to me. I can't believe the guy that gets to live the rest of his life with no physical harm. He, is no, he deserves no less than death, but unfortunately that's not an option. And again, Correa Carminati, who is 24 years old, is already serving the 45 years for shooting and killing a Council Bluffs man. His life sentence for the death of Deputy Mark Burbridge will begin once that time is finished, and then another 50 years for those 11, other 11 counts. Pottawatomie County Attorney Matt Wilbur says this was not a plea deal. Again, the life sentence is the max in Iowa, and the state does not have the death penalty. Back to you.